correct. Ninth, Texas Tech Red Raiders. In year one with Joey McGuire, they won eight games last year, throwing for 4,000 yards. They returned their highest recruit ever in Texas Tech history, um, veteran Morton, four-star. Um, he kind of dealt with a, a shoulder injury in the spring and was kind of sprinkled there towards the end of the season. Um, had a tough loss at Texas. I remember watching that game. They got their ass kicked. Um, but they returned their top three talent or top three targets from last year. Um, four star again, a, a young quarterback, sophomore. Um, what are you seeing from Texas Tech? You know, Texas Tech. <clears throat> I think last year was going to be their year. Unfortunately, the twenty. I want to say it was twenty out of twenty-two starters were back last year. Mm. They're not going to have that as much depth this year as they did last year. However, you know, you add, I mean, you have receiver Owens coming back, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Owens is coming back. And then back. you yep. also add Washington State transfer Josh Kelly to the mix. Huge. Um, huge get. Um, Baron Martin at quarterback, we'll see. Um, as long as he can cut down on his turnovers and just make sure that he's efficient in Coach McGuire's offense, I think that, you know, Texas Tech, eight and five, nine and four, or they could be six and seven, you know, it's just, mm -hmm. I think it th their lack of consistency has been the problem at Texas Tech. I think really since Grand Harrell and like the mm -hmm. 2008 squad that went 11 and one. So I think it's one of those things that like Texas Tech has plenty of opportunities. They have the athletes, they got the coach. It's his third year. Um, so again, when we talk about recruiting cycles, now those guys are getting into their third year with the same coach. Some of those guys, if they haven't transferred and again, getting like a Josh Kelly to kind of pair with those other receivers that they have, you know, you mm -hmm. can't, you can't one-on-one -on -one or double people anymore. So um, I think uh, Texas tech is in a position similar to a lot of these teams that we're going to talk about. You could go nine and four, you could go five and eight. We just don't know because the big 12 is going to cannibalize itself. I think Washington state wide receiver, Josh Kelly's a huge get really excited to see him in this offense. And then a guy we didn't even mention, that's going to carry the load on this offense is Taj Brooks, which, Absolutely. by the way, played with them on College Football 25. Dude is a beast. monster. Beast. Dude's a beast. Breaks tackles, moves the chains. Um, Brooks, he might not be the most explosive back, but ranked second nationally in force missed tackles. Um, he rushed for 290 yard, 290 times last year, 1,500 yards and 10 scores. So that's a guy that's going to have to carry a lot of load for the Red, Red Raiders.